I was doing a two three two transition. Yeah. yeah. And he fell no, smack on his back. Yeah. He hold two hundred pounds of it. So R2 had a, had a bit of a mishap at the end of Maker Faire yesterday uh, and I was uh, demonstrating 232 and I was 232 ing vigorously and uh, one of the uh, ankle tie rod failed and lost his balance and fell backwards uh, so I had a... It was quite spectacular actually how he fell on his back but you know not that much damage just in the dome most damage the uh, hollow got pushed in so he has now screen like the damage like the screen used once and you can tell where the uh, studs got pushed in and he lost a few panels so I uh, just <laughs> taped him and <laughs> carried on and here's what I didn't do anything to so uh, I need some repairs so let's, let's see the bright side of things is that I get to disassemble the dome and show you how it's done it's really hard to work on because it's all round uh, so I have my special fixture here so I kind of place on here put it right on top and pop it over Trying to make the hole up. There you go. That's how I work on the dough. All right, and there's quite a bit of stuff in there. All right, and then you can see what's inside. Okay, so in the dome is a lot of things. Uh, so my dual radio system. That's mostly for the animatronics. I have either a Wi-Fi and, and an XB. Uh, so I can switch to either radio, that's to control uh, the uh, animations from my iPhone. communication that goes to the body through the slip ring I just disconnected from the ring uh, these are the uh, hollow animatronics so the lights move in both directions and this is the uh, magic panel it flashes red it looks like metal when it's not on and it flashes red one is scared. Um, the PSIs, those are the blinky uh, red and blue lights. The uh, logics, real logics, cool RLDs here. With the, the blinky LEDs, uh, my animatronic system is based on a, a VR. It's similar to an Arduino. I call it a Mark Arduino, and actually, here's a. Uh, I, I made that sort of uh, available for the group, sort of commercial. So here's a commercial one, and I still have the prototype for the second one here, version one. <laughs> Uh, tons of servos for the door. There's one per door, so one, two, three, four, uh, five. So that's one that it was knocked out by the fall. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then. Uh, two for each hollow and there are three hollows so that's uh, uh, 16 servos. And the dome is made out of two layers, an outer layer and an inner layer. So I need to separate the two layers which means I need to remove all the hollows from here and all the panels too. Uh, 
All right, all the blue parts that make a dome, they're all out, so now I should be, oh, dome topper. <laughs> the last screw that holds it together. It should be fine, there you go. All right. Okay, so that's the outer dome. And that's what we have to fix here. We got all dented. Not my favorite type of building. Alright. Okay, it's all repaired and uh, I have used a little bit of the JB Weld thing. JB Quick to go faster actually to uh, reinforce the studs uh, so we can remount the whole dome hopefully and get it ready for tomorrow all right so this is the hole that caused us trouble Alright, it's starting to look like a dome again, but I still have to fit all these blue parts and it's 1 a.m. And the fair starts tomorrow at... Uh, I have to be there at 7, so I think that won't be a very detailed job. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, apart from this guy, I'll just tweak it later on. Okay, looks like we're back in business. Load it back in the car. It's 1.53 a.m. Need to go to bed. Wake up tomorrow at 6.30 to go to the fair. Right, it's bright and early. R2 is already out. 